Yeah, um, you busy. Um, we just got well, I didn't get shot at, but we've got nine units on duty and 37 alpha. They shot from the car and, and shot Dan and Barrack, so we're just cleaning up there now. Um, yeah, you all right? I was, yeah, yeah, I just didn't know if you wanted to take a moment to chat with me, um, and kind of go over what happened earlier. So you're on the same page as the rest of the command that has been around. Do we actually have lifeline on round. Yeah, something? I'd uh, I'd really appreciate that, but I I know it's you know it's probably late for you. Is is the past your bedtime? I I can do a little bit of decorating while I wait for you. No and no 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 don't no, listen. I I'm not and honestly I've I've been laying in bed for like an hour and a half trying to sleep, and I can't. So I I don't, I don't mind know, wait, as long as I'm not longer. keeping you awake. That's no. The, no. Because I, I, I've already asked and requested that we do an emergency high command meeting anyway about what we're doing next and what the fuck is going on. So, you know, I, I can wait and t to get that information. So, well, I don't mind running, giving a rundown of kind of just everything that happened. Yeah. Um, I have a report together. I'm working on a couple phone subpoenas, um, possible warrants. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Hopefully, this should be wrapped up pretty soon, and I'll give you a call back ASAP. All right. Yeah. Um. I. So, just so you know, you can just head over. I'm. I'm at my house right now. Um, okay. Is that and I'm right next Bayshire to Canyon. Yep. Right next to Beaver Bush. Okay. So the door is unlocked, and I can kind of go over everything with you. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, I'll do my best to to see you soon. All right. Okay, sounds good. Thank bye. you, Shelby. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bridget, I was on the phone. And those, these, these guys are right? Yeah, they're both conkers. They're troopers, aren't they? All right, guys. Listen, I'm very sorry. I think that might have been my fault for, for saying that on the radio. Um, So I, I do apologize for jinxing that. <clears throat> I'm not, oh, God. I'm not superstitious, but I said it, and then you got shot straight away. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, Dan, sorry, Barrett. It's okay, sir. Um, once EMS gets here, sir, I'm gonna go get rid of their cars. I think Dan put already did it. Yeah, I, I double check, but yeah, they're both they're, they're both kind of already. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think we'll be able to grab any evidence. How could but, you do uh, this dark? I know. Bear I know. <laughs> I know. I just, I just look at my display. I saw nine. I saw nine. I was like, oh, 19 units. But no, nine. And then I was like, oh, God, we're going to get shot and everyone's going to die. And then it's going to be like bears. And I was just like, I don't want anyone to die. And then, yeah. Harvey got stabbed by metamorphine and he said yeah. that he saw bass and bass told him that he was too busy he was in a meeting yeah he told me that too up at the prison poor guy where's his bloody ems so the guy that said Harvey is getting uh getting hit with active torture good fantastic uh looks like alice is on the freeway you missed from Brady. You were from King. The ambulance broke down. We're on the route. Oh. I'm quite sinful. Jeez. Where's my call? Boy, and I'm just going to do a quick code six on the highway for any evidence. I doubt we'll have anything, but I'll have a look anyway. Uh, should be some evidence just east over near Las Lagunas. So, yeah, Dark, if you go a little bit west, that's where the shots were fired from, or to. Just you Direct turn a me. tiny bit. Uh, okay, you turn. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the region where you should be able to find some casings, or projectiles. I think we've got some. Did PD open fire at all? I believe I... Barrick and Dan might have opened fire since they were opening fire from the car. Alright, Gen 4. Yeah, I've got a few projectiles and stuff down here. 
Fucking hell. Shift three down bad today, huh? That grey GTR was paralleling the 37 Alpha Chase, so be careful. They're just going eastbound on Del Perro. They're speeding away. How long has the 37 been going for? I feel like it had only been going for like 15 minutes when we got shot. Do, 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 do. Oh god, we're gonna get hit by a car. Oh my god. Never mind, we're good. Yes, it's back in the grass area you were just at. Should look at how many it's before. Oh, Really I mean, where is the triage point? Yeah, we could. You were right beside us. We could only see you, Davenport. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I said they're over here on the grass. Yeah, we're. Uh, yep. All right. The issue with that is. is... <laughs> Uh, guaranteed shoot out i think is the the, the point is the, the thing that you're saying that i have issues with and nothing should be a guaranteed shoot out in my opinion because we're just back to bank trucks you know Like, I remember when, I can't remember who it was, but someone had managed to get, like, a, an armoured Karuma or something, and they did, like, the the old, like, switcheroo in a, in a car park. Like, that was fucking sick, dude. Uh, 400 there's going to be a report an investigative report up and running if i can just get a short statement uh from anybody in the report channel asap don't waste your time on it though don't give me something elaborate uh, let's just move on from this and get better done work ms are ready to transport Okay. Uh, if I can have Jenna and Devonport just escort these guys to uh, medical, I'm going to run down to... Oh, fuck. I've got to go all the way up to PBSO to approach this bloody evidence, man. All right, I'm 76. You can go to Beaverbush. Oh, yeah, that one. All right, 76 Beaverbush. 
But your opinion can be to uh, de-disincentivize the shooting. Sir, do you medical? I don't know whether that's on us, I'll be honest. Like, I, I can try and think of a solution, but I, 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 at the end of the day, I really don't think it's on PD at all. I don't, I don't, like PD, like with the 37s and stuff, I don't think PD ever did anything that was like, oh, we have to shoot now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I get that it might be difficult to get away from with the tracker and everything, but most of the time it's like a boost, right? The boost happens um, and then the tracker goes off and then you try and escape. And I think that should be the same mindset you have for this. Whereas that escape part doesn't have to be doesn't have to be shooting. Cause it's rough for PD man. Like I know people will say this and that and this and that, but when you think about it, it like just put the shoe on the other foot for a second. Uh, I don't think anybody would enjoy the police on every thirty seven you getting shot out of nowhere. I don't think anybody would anybody who isn't a cop would enjoy that. So it's just the way I'm thinking about it, it's just it's not very enjoyable for PD. That's my main uh, pull from it. I just I just want people to be able to enjoy calls like this again. I've been on some enjoyable thirty seven alphas, especially when there's like a plan. Like when the plans are like, okay, we're going to drive into this parking lot and then we're going to swap cars or we're going to get a bunch of, we're going to try and do our best. We're going to get some interference cars, get rid of the vehicles that are directly behind our vehicle, go on the highway. And then as we pass under a bridge or something or a tunnel, then three black sedans come out on the other side and then air one can't tell which one's which, right? Something, stuff like that before, if that kind of stuff happened before, the shooting happened, I wouldn't mind as much. Like, if there was shit like that, I don't think PD would mind as much. Because it's like, then it's like PD has fo foiled their plan, you know? If PD foils their plan, then it's like, oh fuck, we've got no plan left. Then it's like desperation shooting, right? But instead, what we get is. Hold on. Shooting off the bat. Yeah, I think it would be different if it was uh, Like, I remember <laughs> It was an issue back in 1.0 When I was a, when I was a cop back then Even in 2.0 uh, Where you would have people planning for bank jobs Like, you'd pe have people doing the jewelry store, for example And they would plan their plan would be, okay, I'm going to be on this rooftop and I'm going to be on this rooftop and I'm going to have this gun and we're going to be inside. And when the police get here, we're going to ambush them. That was bad. Like, I'm telling you now, <laughs> that was really fucking bad, dude. The thing is, I wish we as PD uh, what is being? could do things like... <laughs> I think we as PD we are limited in our in our creativity to to arrest criminals. Because if we had like different kind of stuff we could do to swap it up every time, I think that could help. In in a way that criminals maybe couldn't wouldn't be able to uh fucking hell predict what how we were gonna try and arrest like instead of spike strips if we had like different shit. I don't know. I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying to be honest, but I just think there could be like, if we change things up, maybe it would help things. I don't know, dude. It's difficult, man. Pops a PBS instantly on a 37. Yeah, I. but I, if I remember correctly, that came from the ambush stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that came from there also being no negotiations like it, it, like for a casino for example you have hostages and you have negotiations where you can negotiate okay we want free passes no spikes just whatever you want to do and so from the start even though that's a massive call 
even though the casino was a massive call. Same with the vault. Is you don't have PBS off the bat because one, it's not always a shootout, and two, because there's hostage and oh, negotiations and stuff. And I'm not saying I. Like, I'm not saying that I want there to be um, hostages for 37s. I'm just saying that the pits off the bat came from the escalation of cops being shot on the side. The cops should use one of... <laughs> yeah, we should get rocket launchers, dude. As soon as the crim start shooting... You know what? Bring out the jets. <clears throat> Bring out the fucking jets, dude. <laughs> All right, I need to run to the bathroom chat. I'll be back in just a second. Six four two. Are you good to give these guys a lift to their vehicle, or? Yeah, Ephraim. Ephraim, you're good. Alright, we got seventy six to get vehicle maintenance. How many? I'm back. <laughs> All right, Shelby, I'm coming. I should lock that already. I don't know whether they're supposed to be locked or not, but... Eight units on duty now, someone went 42. He's a sex worker, dog? What the... Oh. <laughs> 
What about JJ? Because I was like, get a real job, JJ. And, and Cass was like, he's a sex worker, dog. He has a job. How the fuck am I supposed to get out of here? Why is this a driveway if this is the fucking gate at the end? Also, chat, sad news. I don't know whether you saw, but there's no more early access for Boulder's Gate. It's not coming out on the 31st anymore. It's coming out on August 3rd. <laughs> I have to wait three, three more days to be able to play it. <laughs> is this the house? I think, I think this is their house. We shall be. Hey, how are we holding up? Um, okay. Kind of broke down a bit earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we want to go sit this down on the 10, 7, only piece of furniture we have in the house currently. I got a fold up chair. Yeah. Which is a couch. It's a couch. I gutted the house last week. Wait, why? I, you know, there was a lot of things that I just didn't have that weren't, I couldn't order to install in the house previously. And there's there. And, you know, with my LOA I've been on, I just gutted it. It looks really cool so far. And come on, show me. Yeah. Yeah. Redid the kitchen. And uh, we had a four-person computer set up and brought that down to a two. It's a, it's a work in progress. We're not staying here right oh, now. Hey. This is cool. Because we have no bed. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we got all this. This is fine. What, who needs TV? a big TV like this? You're going to go blind sitting here. Ready. Is his eyesight that bad? Yes. Oh. Old guy. We got the. What? Room. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Is this where he watches all the body cams from? Yeah. That <laughs> it's sports, pretty, I mean, it's pretty cool. It started off with just four TVs and then it went to six and then it went to. Eight and now we're at ten. Impressive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. kind of jealous. I'll be honest. You it, looks a lot, it looks a lot better than yeah. These I got them for Christmas for him, so mm, I finally was able to put them up awesome. on the wall. Yeah, yeah. And then working on the office right now. So ignore the wood sticking through the wall. Oh wow! Uh, he thinks fancy. that this needs to be for a TV, but it's a it's a sitting bench. Look. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Need like some art up there or something. Fill the, yeah, fill the void. And then when I told him that our computers are going to face towards the wall, he just about threw a fit. Wait, why? Uh, I Because there's going to be no TV there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but I'm thinking about doing like a little water feature in between our desks. And these are all going to be bookshelves. Water feature next to your computers? Well, it's contained. It'll be contained. We used to have a huge aquarium by the staircase. Wow, so this is it's fantastic. I love it's the the, the stair lighting. It's great. Oh, I oh, you should see the stair lighting over here. It's fantastic. I think we're going with more modern, just like whites and grays. Yeah, Is there a floating fireplace? It's amazing. Yeah, I didn't. I. I can't choose to put that there, but look at these stairs. Oh, wow. Look at them. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing, Shelby. Yeah, yeah the fish tank was like right here. Wall to walls to ceiling to floor. Oh my god. That's, that's a lot of fish. Yeah, I just have a floor down here. Great. Hey, I took out a lot out of the house, so yeah. It's a project. Thankfully, we have two other houses, so. Um, ah. 
two two other houses oh well, yeah we have a cabin and then i uh, have the sgso hype house which used to be my old house here we can we can sit and i can kind of go over everything okay uh I don't know if you want the report first, but we are, uh, we made the decision that uh, this is gonna be actually locked behind command. Um, so we can tell officers that Bass passed and what caused it, um, but investigation wise, it is locked behind command. Uh, it's in the command reports. Um, Theo does have temporary access to it because he is working on it with me and Brian. Um, and we wanted to keep it to, again, just Command Plus. So, everything's in there. I'm working on stuff. Um, currently, well, actually, I'll go to what happened and then I'll go into what I'm working on. Which I'm not working on tonight. That'll happen over the next couple of days. Um... So I went to go clock on duty, see if Bass would actually run on a ride together. And while I was running to SDSO with no weapons, I saw two fully blacked out men grappling away from the roof of SDSO. And I could hear the beeping of a bomb. Um, went in, we went to go take care of it. I guess Bass and Bayo were talking to Mr. K about bombings at a wedding, I guess, that happened earlier. Um, and a handful of us went over to handle it on a different channel. And I guess Mr. K said that Carmine, who did not match the description and the amount of time that it took for Carmine to get there, he wouldn't have been able, he wouldn't have been able to change. It just, it didn't add up, right? Um, Mr. K said that he had the key and he would be able to defuse the bomb. Uh, Bison went up there and time was running so low and Carmine didn't know and he went to go up there. I guess it was like under a minute and then uh, the bomb went off. Uh, he suffered from some post bomb stuff. I'm not really sure. Uh, and went to the hospital and was interrogated through this whole thing. Um, even though we didn't really have anything solid. Uh, during the, or dur while he was at the hospital, which by the way, SMH is also closed down. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bass and Bayo moved Mr. K down to MRPD. Uh, while we were in MRPD, um, 911 start coming in about anonymous ones about releasing Carmine or else there was going to be another bomb. Um, and multiple threats. Um, obviously promises. And then I would say under five minutes later, there was a bomb on top of MRPD. Uh, so we got a couple units to go up to PBSO to kind of make sure that they didn't go there next, right? Um, and preemptively do that. And while Bayo and I were trying to document stuff and keep track of the time that was left on the bomb before it went off, um, Bison went up to the roof uh, while we waited. And then eventually, and this is the part that, I mean, the Mr. K thing PD doesn't know about. They know it's some unknown person, right? Uh, they don't know about the interrogation or the questioning that was going on. Uh, they don't know about Carmine or anything like that. They just know about the bombs and that some unknown individual went up to the roof with Bass. Because as Bayo and I were leaving, uh, Bass then brought Mr. K up to the roof. Um, we watched from the roof waiting for the time because apparently he had the code to, like, he knew what wire to cut. Um, and then two explosions went off on the top of PD. Uh, Bison did tell us that apparently before uh, it went off, he made it clear that he didn't know what to cut. 
and um, he held Bass tight and said that he uh, this was the way to go out or something like that. Uh, by someone in the ICU for a couple hours and shortly after it was announced that uh, obviously EMS was bringing A13 down to the morgue. They didn't say who um, but yeah. So from everything you've got uh, if you go into the MDW, into uh, reports, uh, move the drop down to command. Yeah, I got it. And uh, yeah. So I still need to do my statement. Um, there are some text mess or tweets in there that Brian sent me um, that were put in a couple hours later. Uh, we have the nine one ones in there. Um, pictures of both scenes because originally there is an empty SDSO report um, in incidents I believe because again we didn't think that this was going to happen and it all just snowballed so I am currently working on a subpoena for Mr. K Carmine uh, from 2pm EST to 2am EST I don't know if I should broaden it a little bit more, maybe the past 24 hours. That's what I'm honestly thinking. Um, I mean, I think you, you could manage even longer, given the scope of this whole incident. If we look at the hospital and two PDs, and yeah. even if you include that church too, this is a terrorist attack um, okay. in which a member of PD has died. I, I, I highly doubt the DOJ is going to be stingent on a time frame as, as small as, as 24 hours. I mean, okay. even I'd still, go for a week. I'd go for a week. because Now, I'm also going to ask for Bass's phone records. Um, that's something someone else... I yeah. Um, but I don't know how far back I should go with him, and I heard that you can just get instant approval. And I, but I'm thinking of keeping it with the same scope that I have for everyone else. I would do so. And then if you find anything that might indicate that you might need longer than a week, uh, then yeah. I, I think you should do it. You know, I, I don't... Not my favorite thing to go digging around in, in dead people's business. Yeah. So, but at the same time, I think Bass would want to find out who was destroying the police departments. And... Uh, if he might have had any information on that, maybe he didn't realize he had information on that, then I think that's worth looking into. <clears throat> yeah, or if something was sent to him after he died. Mm hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah. There's definitely some text messages in there from me saying, I'm very mad at you. You mad at Bass? Oh, yeah. Why? I don't know, away for almost a month now, and this is what I came back to. Not mad, I just You could be mad. That's okay. In the last ten minutes before tsunami I said nothing, but I I'm very mad, I'm very sad, and I'm so mad that I'm sad and mad you know, just bad. Um I'm obviously gonna get the death certificate, but yeah, we're keeping it to just command. Bayo does have access until this is over. Um Toretti is a uh, deputy commissioner. Oh, yeah, and, what's your uh, um... Owen is interim uh, interim sheriff. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of what I'm working on. Uh, Brian and I are going to dig deeper Friday, and uh, Bale, whenever he's around, he's going to help with it also. Because Bale was with him during the Mr. K conversations. Did Hold on, I just saw Reed just go on Dewey. Can I can I invite her down here, should we? Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can kinda of pause for a moment and Yeah, that'd be I think uh yeah. she might need filling in show. Hi, Chief. Um hey, 
do you want to come down to Shelby's house on Baitry Canyon? She's filling me in on what happened last night. Uh, sure. I'll be in okay. like five minutes. All right, I'll see you soon. Hey, bye. Bye. Yeah, she should, should be down in a minute. Um, did you? Did Brian inform you? I have access to MC reports. I don't know whether you do too. Um, um but there was an MC. I, I can run over to Beaver Bush and Clock in real quick. No, it's, there was a. Listen, uh, you're working this case. Uh, if Brian gets mad at me for telling you this, I, I don't care. Um, yesterday, this is 16 hours ago, so this was at 18.26 UTC, which I imagine was like 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, oh, no, this was at the start of the 2 p.m. Eastern storm. Uh, basically, to summarize, Brian found Paddy a mission row with a car bomb. Um, when interrogated... Paddy said that the his target he had been asked to, to bomb Bass's car and he identified the car through a call sign um and said he only knew it was intended for a high ranking member of PD and says I, I think he said that he didn't know it was Bass but obviously it was intended for, for Bass's vehicle so I mean, I can talk to him about that. I figure Brian probably won't mind me knowing because I'm looking into this. Um, yeah. So I think right now him and Ripley are leading just communications with everyone while I'm leading the putting everything together and all that stuff. Because um, to be honest, I, I can't lead on this right now. I, uh, yeah, kind of just, I, I broke down a couple times. Um, I, I, what type of cars does he own? Bass? Because there, no, uh, Patty. Because there Patty. was, when I was running up and they grappled down, um, there's speculation right now is something with Chang Gang and that they're trying to throw Carmine under the bus. Uh, but there was a black sports car two door. I don't know if it was like an R34 or something else, but I know it was a two door sports car that was black. I don't think he owns anything like high class S plus or anything. He used to be a biker. Now he's living in Mirror Park. So uh, he's got like a burrito, a maki. I don't know what that is. A riata and a club. I don't know what any of those are. Yeah, but they yeah. don't match that. No. But you said it was like a, a mean, high it, class it, S plus car. Not like a high class S plus car. Um, it looked almost a little bit. I'm so bad with cars. Almost a little bit boxier. But honestly, I can talk to Brian, and when I do the subpoenas, I could probably request one for him as well because of the bomb threat thing as well and yeah. put him in the same scope. I mean, the thing is, like, obviously, first instinct for me hearing everything is that Chang Gang is involved. Yeah, yeah, same. But then Mr. Kai was essentially bombed himself by going on that roof. Um, yeah, and then also, if we look at the church bombing, maybe that's a coincidence. But if that is also connected in some capacity, given that it was Carmine's wedding, um, Mr. Kai was a victim in that too. Someone married Carmine. Oh, we, we need it. I, I, I think it, but we do, yeah, we're in the back. Let me, hello, yeah, she, she won't be able to see us. Let me go grab her. Chief, we're uh, we're back in. Here we are. Hey, Libby. Hello. Welcome to my humble empty abode. You got you cold. I think she's admiring the TVs. I think so too. Very impressive. It is. I'm I'm impressed with how many I was able to fit in this room and I could probably fit more. Libby. <clears throat> I think my favorite thing is the lightsabers. 
Yeah, I didn't realize Trey was uh, into that stuff. Oh, huge Star Wars nerd. Really? Very slippy. He does remind me of George O. Binks a little bit. We had a Star Wars day for the SDSO. I think I remember that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, huge Star Wars fan. Yeah, that she go? Sports. Hmm? Where'd Libby go? She had a headache. Oh. That's why I said, there she goes. Oh, great. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I mean about the... If, if it is all involved... Also, was with the like the SMH bombing, I didn't see anything about Chang Gang in that report. I saw Gulag Gang, and I didn't see anything about Carmine neither. I think for me, gut feeling is these everything, all these bombings have to be connected in some manner. They do. But the only so thing then, with Patty I could see is maybe like, and I don't think this is something that would stop us or the judges, but. It, him mentioning a car bomb instead of a like bomb bomb you know I don't yeah. know if there's a difference between the two I'm going to be honest I think but with I think the car a bomb, bomb, is a bomb. The, yeah the bombs we've dealt with before are, are timers whereas with a car bomb I think you pull them like it's their cell phone activated so it's a trigger instead of a timer Okay, that makes sense. I don't think, like realistically, I don't think that is much of a difference. I imagine they use the same explosives and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully that is not something that stops us here. But considering we it's the commissioner who asked, um, I I don't think we're gonna get hit with too many roadblocks. I don't think so either. No. Um, I'm going to be honest. I've read a lot of phone subpoenas. Or, yeah, subpoena requests. But I've never written one. So pretty much I just have to do the same thing as a regular um, search warrant. And just describe what happened and what the PC is, right? Yeah. I think... I'm thinking far ahead here. In that, mm -hmm. what can we do if we don't get anything out of subpoenas? If we get nothing of... If we get no confessions, which we, we barely ever do. Which, what's going to give us convictions here? Well, right now, Mr. K... And I don't know if I need to go to the hospital and try and stop something tomorrow. Uh, Mr. K is currently in the ICU. So, to, uh, TLDR and what happened with him. We had him and Carmine in custody when this happened, right? Um, Boy. Both were being interrogated uh, or questioned. Um, Tessa, unfortunately, was with a Carmine. Um, and then after the bomb, uh, Mr. K was uh, submitted into the ICU. Or admitted, sorry. Um, we are thinking about putting a warrant out for his arrest for this, but honestly, we're probably going to dig a little deeper but I'm almost wondering if we need to put him on a hold um, or have the doctors basically put on his profile that he is currently in police custody and is not to be released because moment like before we found out that he was in the ICU um, we told Carter that he could just finish questioning him like get his statement and then release him because that was we don't really have anything we're gonna have to stand up again Take a seat, Chief. Uh, good, I'll stand. Okay. Um, if you could fill uh, Libby in, yeah. I'm just going to take this call. It's from Etta, so it's Deputy Mayor stuff, I imagine. Okay, you're good. Um, hey. Did you know that he's in the ICU? I do have a report. Oh. Derek. 
No, I didn't know. I was involved in the situation. Um, he'll be all right. He was. He, he spoke to me after he got shot. He, he spoke to me, so he'll I be all right. Hours in the morgue tonight, Richard. Sitting there, picturing all of you. Wait, what's going on? I'm so confused. I this know. is literally my worst fear right before my eyes. Eric's a he's a tough lad. He's gonna be all right. I know. I mean, he's stable. He just needs rest, but. We signed up for this. I know you probably didn't. Well, I mean, I knew what I was getting into when I fell in love with him, so. Yeah. I guess I kind of signed up for it, too. I hate to be that person. But this is going to happen. I mean, I you can ask Matt how many times I've laid in hospital bed nearly dead. It doesn't get any easier. But it's gonna happen, but you know Eric's one of the tough ones. So Um they're gonna keep him overnight. Um I'm probably gonna stay in bed with him. I'm not leaving. So Well just Make sure you eat and, and get some water. Um, yeah, you know, I've been there. Just they they keep these nice, comfy armchairs in the lobby, so you can always ask them to bring one of those to the room, and then you can just put your feet on the bed. That's the comfiest position if you know if you want to get some shut eye. Um, always ask for extra Jello for Barrack, and then eat it yourself. Uh, I don't know whether this is my. I see you advice, um, but just take some time off, I think is my best advice. It's been a rough night, and it's going to be a rough few days, though yeah. <laughs> just don't get caught up in anything that happens at the hospital, please. If you hear anything, you you grab Barrett. Don't care what the doctor say. You grab him and you you get him on a trolley and you, you get him out of that building. Okay. Oh my god. Do you really think that they're gonna bomb more places? I don't know. I don't know yet. I really don't. But we can't rule it out. Just, just be careful, all right? Okay. You too. Listen, Please. if you're, you're awake in a bit, I'll, I'll come down and see you. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm being briefed about this whole situation now and about bass and. Okay. Yeah, it's. Yeah, if you could, then, or I can come and meet you somewhere while he sleeps. I'll give you a I'll give you a ring when I'm at this meeting. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I love you. Love you too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hey, Dan. You you all right? Uh yeah, I'm just checking on you guys, making sure you're okay. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is Trey's house, and Shelby's just briefing us about what happened last night. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy. You there? Uh, I came in after they announced it to everybody, so I was, uh, standing guard at the, uh, the morgue all night. 
Anything suspicious happen at the morgue? Uh, BBMC came and made a ruckus, saying that how happy they were. Um, yeah. Crane, uh, while exiting, decided twatted out that he was making a bunch of legislation because of people celebrating on Twitter. So that's good. But nobody tried to enter the building. Nobody tried to harm us while we were guarding it. So it was uh, it was pretty peaceful, rather, you know, surprisingly. Yeah, it's, it's good to hear. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I appreciate you checking on us. Yeah, we're, we're all right. Yeah. Hopefully we shouldn't be here too much longer, but I can't tell you much. Okay. All right. I'm glad you're okay, appreciate Dan. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, could nah, you do me a favor? Um, just, I know I heard barracks in the ICU. Could you just make sure that someone at least goes and checks on him every now and then if he's awake? Yeah, of course. All right. Thanks, Dan. Yes, sir. Hey, Remington. Hey, 66. That's our 66. Okay. Yeah. That's um, updated. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll be honest. I haven't managed to sort anything out yet because I'm being briefed about the situation last night. So, uh, I'll keep you updated, okay? Yeah. I'm getting a quote of about 2600 for direct production of paint thinner per bottle. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it reduces the cost a lot. Yeah. Uh, this is this is a healthy distraction after what's happened so far this week. Yeah. I think, um... Yeah, you you you've got this. I think you can handle this. So uh, just get, you know, give me a quote about how much it's going to cost for everything. I'll it is. I'll I'll talk to the mayor about it. Um, and I'll I'll, I'll see what we can sort out. But thank you for handling this. Yeah. I appreciate it, Remington. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been talking to the mayor already. Um, That's good. Not about this, but all the other stuff. He's really on board with giving us the backing to do what we need to do, especially for the Vinewood stuff. Okay. And this, it's unfortunate timing about this. I, I kind of want a little direction on this next question. So I was talking with Baz. We have, you know, the Capitol Fire Station, right? Mm-hmm. And... Apparently, Bass was the only person that could help me with this. With this, there's a particular spray that Marabunta they sprayed up the Capitol Fire Station, and it's rallying up the nearby locals, and it's causing the locals to run inside the fire station and shoot our medics. Jesus Christ! And, yeah, and apparently, Commissioner Bass was the only one who could deal with it. Even the mayor, I spoke to the mayor, and he was like, "Yeah, the only option I have is to go to Baz." Okay. So, um, send me an email with the photograph and a small brief of what you just told me about them going and shooting everybody, uh, and I'll I'll get it sorted. Gotcha. I wrote a report about it. Oh, let me get you the report number real quick, and I can print the report and email it to you. Give me something. It will have to be brief because these higher up the senators and everything they like they don't like reading much so i think the shorter the better just saying here's where it is it's on government property it's causing locals to shoot ems just something simple like that with a photograph attached and i'll i'll forward that and hopefully we get something sorted asap you got it All right. i'll send you the most tldr report i can thank you remington Okay. Thank you, Chief. Are you okay? Hey, yeah, I'm alright. You you holding up alright? Yeah, I, I just came off my suspension about four hours ago. So I'm just kind of diving right into it, you know? Yeah, listen, no one's, uh, no one's going to hold that against you. Um, 
because these things happen and they affect everybody differently and just you know don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help all right yeah i've been talking with pixie i've already had my third session with her that's good that's, that's really good here it's necessary yeah we all need someone to talk to all right yeah i gotta get yeah. back to this break but thank you elizabeth thanks for holding this together all right yeah i appreciate you chief all right take care you too bye-bye Uh, Chief, you just, uh, shall we just stand up for a minute? Thank you. Sorry, I thought, I thought I did it. No, you're okay, you're okay. Um, we don't want the rest of PD to know that, uh, he was questioning Mr. K, um, or that Carmine's name was mentioned. That stuff is what we're keeping. Kind of just to command. Um, we've been telling people if they have more information and then I find anything else out to uh, send it to either Bayo, uh, Brian, or myself right now. Um, I, I still have more reports. I have to get in there. I, I don't even have my own in. But I'm probably going to grab that from the subpoena that I do. So, but we, we have made it very clear that it is a command only thing right now. And we will move it to the correct place when people can have access to it. Hey, that's, that's good. What I was saying earlier, and I didn't really get to finish my thought, was... um. Mm -hmm say we don't get confessions or we don't get anything for the subpoenas we don't get enough evidence to charge anybody you know i i guess it's what, what are we gonna what are, what evidence are we going to be able to use to just to, to charge people here and one of the things i thought about was did anybody collect shrapnel evidence from the the bombings because if we can uh, if we can get shrapnel and we can try and match it up with the other bombings and then on top of that if we ever do find a bomb in someone's property we can see if the material matches the same bombs used on the pds and the hospital i don't know uh, whether so the shrapnel is still going to be on top of mrpd Okay. I collected as much stuff as I could. I got the blood from everyone up there. <laughs> for the raid, buddy. Um, I I'm didn't sorry. Really find too much, so we can always go up there and check again. I mean, uh, the place has but been we untouched. Did take the pictures. Yeah, it hasn't. So STSO hasn't been touched since. And uh, outside of going on top of the roof for them to get extracted and. Um, Welcome, Ray. I'm sorry. To, I'm so sorry. Uh, collect evidence. It, it has been untouched, so we can go back there. Yeah, I think... I, I just, at the time, I couldn't find anything. It was, I mean, bomb one to bomb two was, I would say, under 20 minutes, maybe even under 15. Yeah, I, absolutely no blame on anybody. I just, I'm trying to think of ways... Yeah, yeah. ...that I, we need to pull out all the stops on this case. Um... We need to do everything we can. This is something we cannot... We cannot have this just end with no conviction. We need no, to find... I agree. That's not me saying that we need to find somebody and throw it on them like the Central Park Five or some bullshit, but we need to actually be able to charge the person who did this with a murder. So... Yeah, I think a good step was would to be allocate somebody to 
go to each of the scenes uh collect shrapnel and let's get a comparison for that in the lab to see if we can if they match up 